Oh, that's a 1926 Farmall Regular. I was going to tractor shows and it was me and the guy that owned this that had the, I had my F30 and he'd have this Regular. And we kind of had a little bond there, I guess you could say, because <laughs> we were the two with the pre-39 Farmalls. And one day he called me, he said, I'm gonna surprise you. I said, what's that? He said, I'm gonna sell you that Regular. I got this Regular and a 29 Regular off of him as well. This one, it's not, 100% correct. Has a few odds and ends that aren't correct for 26, but that's pretty old. I guess you'd have some stuff change on you over the years. <laughs> he put the old sickle bar on it. That's the way I bought it. I really didn't do anything to it yet. I have some plans. I have a correct 26 engine to put in it, sitting in the garage. Just need to get around to it and find all the parts because these are very hard to get parts for. The biggest thing a lot of people, the, the front steering is open gear on those. When they did the F20, they put a cast iron case around the steering gears. But these have the open gear and it steers almost like power steering. <laughs> well, it's a three speed, slow, slow, and slower. It's about all they have. And that those steel, that rides rough. The Farmall was the first all-purpose track, the first row crop ever made. Before that, you had a standard tread or you had a cultivator. That was the big thing about the Farmall, the narrow front, the steering cables so you could turn on a dime. This was supposed to be cultivator and heavy work. And this was it. The early regulars are a lot different than the later regulars. They look, they look the same, but they have a lot of, they changed a lot. And the 24 even more so, the 24, I'd like to find a 24. It's a neat little tractor, it's not comfortable at all, but it's a neat little tractor. <laughs>